Good morning, my friends. Well, it's uh, Saturday morning, and uh, I've been boondogging in this spot. It's uh, just outside of uh, Helsingør in the uh, northern part of Zealand. Today I don't really have much plans, but um, well, I guess tonight I'm probably going to go to a friend's place in Copenhagen. So uh, just going to hang out here and uh, well, let's see what happens. Um, I was about to say, as always, then it's quite windy outside and uh, it's a little hard to, uh, well I could go outside but the sound would be horrible. So I'm just going to try to show you the area from within the Raven. Well this is a look out the back of the Raven. This is the view I woke up to this morning. And uh, well, yeah, as always near the seaside. but. Uh, there is a road between the parking lot and the seaside, but that's okay, you know. Over here is the entrance to the parking lot, and there is actually a sign. I don't know if you can see it. Let's see if I can spot it. There's a sign right there, I believe it is. Um, and that sign actually says, no no camping and then there's a picture of a travel trailer and a tent but um, well show you on this side here is a van and there is a German man who's traveling with his dog and he told me that dog used to be a, a street dog in St. Petersburg but uh, now he have taken care of it and then over here is a camper van as well, and that is uh, where they were from, uh, from Belgium, I believe. A family with two boys. So, uh, so we are three people, well, boondogging in this place where it say no camping, and we didn't have any problems. Actually, I decided this video is going to be about something that I have been asked a couple of times by viewers and it is my tattoos and um, yeah I got some different tattoos and and they are actually very personal um, all my tattoos have a a meaning I have to say um, there's nothing random nothing fashion or anything they're very uh, thought about all my tattoos um, well first of all here on this shoulder let's see if I can yeah this one here that is a picture of my daughter the way she looked when she was 10 years old that was um, That was a tattoo I had made right after I I lost my daughter and my uh, and my wife. So uh, it's made it very meaningful to me, and uh, I, I it means a lot to me this tattoo. Then this one here on my uh, lower arm is a Thai fire dragon. And for me, that tattoo kind of means that you uh, should not worry about stuff that you cannot change. And this one I had made also in connection to losing my family and, and the whole uh, stress about that. And, and, uh, and it was kind of... To remind me of that if I cannot do anything about it, I have to live on. So um, you know, I have to uh, yeah get the best out of life. Anyway, <laughs> this tattoo, the one on my arm here, 
a lot of people think it's a steering wheel from a ship, but it's not. It is a Buddhist symbol uh, called a Dharma wheel, and actually, just below the the, it's a in Thai writing, it's a Dharma. So, uh, and I guess that is a way for me to show that, well, this is what I uh, live after. The cycle of of energy, you know, that no energy is lost. So, um, yeah, Dharma wheel. Then, just above the Dharma wheel, I have part of a text from a song. Let's see if I can get it into the yeah well it's a little hard to see what it say I guess that is the best <clears throat> this is the, the, the text from a song and it's kind of a memorial tattoo from my or for my uh, granddad it was a song that was written during Second World War and it say well, in Danish they say, Kim Fejl, but du har du om så det gælder. This would translate into something like, fight for everything that you love. Um, die for it if you have to. And yes, that is, as I say, a song that was written during Second World War. And actually, when my granddad and his friends were taken from their prison cell, to the execution, they were singing this song. So obviously it is a text that means a lot to me. I know that my sister, my six, my sister actually have the same text tattooed. I'm not, I think it's in her wrist, I'm not sure. Then up here first, there's a Buddhist monk, this here, and um, that is the monk who founded the temple I uh, visited in Thailand. Um, the temple's name is Son Mo, and uh, it was a place I came to to talk to the monks especially one of them uh, who had taught himself English and I would go there to talk to him to kind of get some answers. Uh, actually the first time I went there he gave me a book to read that this gentleman had written. This gentleman, his name is, uh, or was, his name was uh, Putata Pico. Uh, unfortunately he passed away uh, before I had the chance to meet him. Uh, my wife actually met him when she was a teenage um, but uh, but I respect him very much and uh, so I chose to have his well his picture tattooed on my arm the elephant that is an engagement tattoo that I had made when I got engaged to to my wife. Um, she told me that she is uh, she told me that she was a Thai elephant and uh, well she is not uh, she was not small and, and uh, petite like a lot of uh, Thai people so uh, so her words Thai elephant and um, at the same time she had a tattoo made here on her shoulder of a monkey because she say, well, I got quite a lot of hair on my body and she say, I'm a Danish monkey. So she had the monkey tattooed. Then years later, when we had our daughter and she was, she must have been two and a half, I think. She asked me why I only had mommy tattooed, why I didn't have her. Um, and I asked her, what should symbolize her? Mummy was the Thai elephant and what should symbolize 
uh, my daughter and she told me that she was a Barbie ballet ballerina princess. So there you are, a Barbie ballerina princess. <laughs> so that's um, this here. And then I thought, well, the elephant and the princess, they need somewhere to live. So my home is my castle. And I had this made. That is actually the story about my tattoos as they, is, as they are right now. I do have plans for the for the Thai fire dragon. I want to have some some kind of background made uh, to um, it's like um, one time my um, someone had said that the way it is now the fire dragon it's look it looks like it's left alone in the middle of the street just this and nothing around it so it should have some kind of background made so you see all my tattoos are very personal and and very they all of them have a, a, a history um, i have a reason for all my tattoos there's nothing just random um, so that's uh, that's the story about that and uh, well will i get more tattoos probably it's been a while since i had the last one made but uh, you know, big events call for uh, for tattoos in my world. You know, um, some people ask me if it hurts to have tattoos made, and well, yeah, uh, for me it kind of hurts the first 15 minutes. After that, it's like the body sedate uh, skin. I don't really feel much pain after that. Um, it's it's yeah I don't know it's something that the body take care of uh, it happens automatically I think with me I know it's different from person to person but uh, for me it's kind of it just kind of fade out after 15 minutes and then I don't feel it anymore <coughs> the the portrait the picture of my daughter it took two and a half hour to have it made. Um, that was a long time, but it's 100% worth it. And the others over here, they're, they're not that big, so it doesn't, it didn't take that long. Um, so, uh, and of course they're made at different points in time, so. Uh, but yeah. That is the story behind all the tattoos I got, and uh, so, anyway, I have a big thing coming up, a big, um, I don't know if you can call it a big event, but, but uh, there's something very important happening uh, soon, within the next Two, three weeks there will be a, a big change on my channel so um, and you could say a big change to my well a big change to my life in the raven so um, wait for that um, it is something I look forward to very very much and uh, I'm very excited about so uh, I leave that as a cliffhanger. Anyway, you guys take care and remember, life is good. Bye bye.